The champions of 2023 World Cup, the Springboks, have landed back in the country this morning at OR Tambo International Airport. Springboks became the champions after defeating New Zealand by 12-11 in the final in Paris this weekend. Our sports reporter Katlejo Moslele was at the airport to capture the moment of their arrival back home. The passionate audience of South Africans at Oward Tambo International Airport greeted the 2023 World Cup champion Springboks upon their arrival on the home soil this morning after a historic win over New Zealand in the Rugby World Cup final on Saturday. While South Africans enjoying their time in the sun and the Rugby World Cup trophy to start this coming weekend in the celebration of the following back to the World Cup wins, the core reality is that the hard work will resume to stay ahead of chasing pack of the rugby nation ready to challenge the box. People were hopeful in 2019, maybe we'll win it, but this time we could feel that people expected us uh, to win this World Cup. So the support and the videos, as uh, Mr. President said, honestly, we after trainings we would see or after games we would see what's happening back at home. And that's why we made the decision that We've already won the, the World Cup in 2019. It's not about us as players anymore. What can we play? We always play for South Africa, but we wanted to make sure that this one is for the people of South Africa. This one is for every single person in South Africa. Rich, poor, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter where you come from because of the team that we have, which is very diverse team, which is very beautiful as well. We all come from different walks of life. With the good planning and foresight going forward, the Springboks can continue to unleash the new generation of the players that should be able to take Siakoli's team legacy forward and continue to dominate the World Rugby. Uh, we went with a 5-3 split with uh, a guy like Marnie and Kuba starting in the quarterfinal against France and then they started again in the semi-final against England and then for the final we, we, we decided our tactic rightly or wrongly Obviously, rightly now because it worked out well. Uh, uh, we went with a seven-one split, which meant that they had to fall out, you know. And, um, and yes, and, and and their hearts obviously is broken. Everybody wants to play in the final, but I can promise you, and I'll get to more than now. With it, when we had our training session that Monday, uh, so the team was announced on Monday morning. When we trained that Monday afternoon. Kubis was the best version of Aaron Smith and Moni was the best version of Richie Mwanga. Studied the mannerisms, their profiles, and that's probably the beauty of this team. You know, they, they get over it um, um, and then they have to fulfill another role. Uh, in the previous two games, their role was to start and to lead the team to victory. In, this, uh, in the last game, their role was to be the opposition. The Springboks will embark on a trophy tour where they will be traveling to all nine provinces of the country to greet and showcase the Webb Ellis Trophy to South Africans as they celebrate the victory of the Springboks. For Soweto TV Sports News, I am Katlego Musielele.